Hey, what's up guys? It's Zoom over here on the Doom Clan channel, and before we get into the commentary topic, just want to say a happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Hopefully you guys are taking a break from Call of Duty, and you know, sitting down with some family and friends, eating some nice food, some turkey, some green bean casserole, you know, watching some football games. I know the Cowboys are playing. But getting into the commentary topic, so today Doom Clan will be bringing you guys a different kind of video. We're going to be bringing you guys some variety. So you guys have seen, you know, 100 plus or double chem strike every single day from us. And we see other clans posting these same types of gameplays. You know, all the clans, all the gameplay channels are all posting double chem strikes and 100 pluses. So we thought we would branch out. And instead of showing you guys our gameplays, we were actually going to, you know, help you guys get some gameplays of your own. So this will consist of different types of class setups, perk setups, even just tips and strategies. On different types of maps so we're gonna try to give you guys one class setup and one tip video per week you know out of the 20 you know 15 20 gameplay videos today what I have for you guys is a best specialist perk setup video and this is highly requested on my channel if you guys have seen my channel you guys know that I've done about four or five class setup videos and I've never really gone in detail on the specialist bonus so that's what I thought I'd go over in this video today so hopefully you guys will enjoy and also leave us some feedback you know do you want to see doom giving you guys some tips on how to get some gameplays of your own you know how to get your first chem strike how to get you guys you know some hundred plus games how to raise your KD stuff like that let us know in the comments if you guys think doom clan should be repping out you know one or two tip videos a week I personally think it's a good idea it's something different that not all the clans want to do you know, not all the other clans want to actually show their subscribers how to get some gameplays like this. So, I thought it was a good idea. Let me know what you guys think. But, on to the class setup. So, my starting perks are Sleight of Hand, Stalker, Dead Silence, Amplify, and Focus. And if any of you guys saw my first best class setup on my channel, then you guys probably would notice that I had Scavenger in there at the start. But, I switched in Sleight of Hand for Scavenger. And the reason for that is... I've really been experimenting, you know, whether or not to keep Scavenger on the starting perks or the specialist unlock or even the specialist bonus. And I really recommend not using Scavenger in your starting perks. And the reason for that is Scavenger is different in this game from other Call of Duty. So you don't start with extra ammo like you have, you know, in Black Ops 2 or MW3. It's actually separated into a different perk. Don't know the perk name off the top of my head. But there is a different perk that allows you to start with extra ammo. Scavenger just allows you to replenish ammo. So that's why I don't use it off the start. There's really no need. So I definitely recommend using Scavenger either in your first or second specialist unlock. You know, going to that third unlock or even specialist bonus is pretty risky. Because you probably will run out of ammo unless you pick up a weapon. So I have it there at specialist unlock number two. But before I get into the other specialist unlocks, I do just want to cover the starting perks real quick. So the reason I got Stalker on is because that's just a must for all assault rifles. Makes a huge difference. You'll be able to dodge enemy bullets, you know, while you strafe side to side in gunfights. And it just allows you to move faster with an assault rifle. So ARs are dominant in this game, but you do need to be able to outgun SMGs close range. And the Stalker perk will definitely help you do that. And I'm also rocking the Dead Silence Amplify combination. That's just a really deadly combination. Because you can hear other enemies' footsteps louder while yours are silent. So very useful for going for gameplays. Especially if you're in their spawn. You can hear them, you know, start running off spawn. So definitely very useful for going for gameplays. And also got Focus. So Focus is just huge for winning your gunfights. It's just like Toughness from Black Ops 2. So if you guys get into a head-on-head -head gunfight, then the person with focus will most likely win. And then the last perk that I said before is sleight of hand. So just a useful perk. You know, it's always good to reload faster. You know, it doesn't waste as much time, you know, sitting in a corner reloading or whatever. More time to run around the map on your streak. But let's get into these specialist unlocks. So as I said before, I got scavenger as my number two slot. But for number one, I got off the grid. And this is just a personal preference. I personally don't think the UAVs are that strong in this game, but if you do come across a team that spams UAVs, then this is definitely a useful perk. I've always just been an, you know, an assassin guy, an off-the-grid guy. I just hate being on the radar. I usually like to go stealth mode, 
So I always got a silencer on, I got dead silence on always, and then off the grid. So just a good combination of all those three things to just be off the radar. But getting into the third specialist unlock, I got quick draw. So this perk goes with focus really well. It will just allow you to win your gunfights easier because you'll be able to zoom in faster than the enemy. So just a great perk to get your bullets on target quicker. All right, now for the specialist bonus. So what I got in the specialist bonus is hardline, blast shield, ping, ready up, and gambler. So mixture of different types of perks. Ping is really an interesting perk. I've been using this recently and it's a pretty cool perk it's something new to the call of duty series you guys probably know so when you're in a room and you kill somebody you kill an enemy it like gives off some type of radar or sonar thing and it it lets you know if there's any other enemies in that room so really useful if you're in their spawn and you know they're spawning around you so definitely like that perk it's something i i recently tried out and actually really enjoyed and then you guys are probably also wondering why i'm running hardline in my specialist bonus you know, why wouldn't you run it off the start of the game so you can get your, you know, your streaks faster and also all your assists will count. And the reason I do that is just because I would rather have a more beneficial perk to my ability, you know, for gunfights or reloading faster or just something like that. And the only reason I have that perk in the bonus is to get that chem strike faster. So you get it faster by one kill and also any assist that you do get while having that perk will count as a kill. And another perk I'm rocking in the specialist bonus is Blast Shield. The reason for this is just because I don't want to die by an IED, you know, one off the chem strike. And also like a C4 or grenades. Blast Shield actually does work in this game to an extent. I remember back in MW3, it really did not work that well. But Blast Shield is, you know, it's, it's a pretty good perk in this game. So I would recommend it if you hate dying by, you know, RPGs or IEDs, stuff like that. And the last two perks I'm running, as I said before, was Ready Up. Just a great perk, you know, you can pull up your gun faster while sprinting around a corner. So just like Dexterity from Black Ops 2. And then the last perk I'm running is Gambler. So I personally don't like any of the other one starred perks. So just throw in Gambler, you know, see what I get. Maybe I'll get a star 3 perk. Maybe I'll get Deadeye, you know, like a star 5. So that's why I run Gambler. But that pretty much wraps up the best specialist perk setup in the game, in my opinion. I will be putting a picture of the class setup in the description just in case you guys missed any of that so be sure to look at the class setup picture and you know you can copy it you can branch off from it definitely try it out i think it's a very good setup especially if you you know you're struggling on getting chem strikes definitely would try this setup out but that's all i got for today guys be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new all right peace